question. So you finished law school and I know your story, but the rest of the world is not. But like, so you finished law school, you got, um, you got that big corporate job in New York City. And yes. then how long were you there before you were like, this is, uh, this is probably not going to be where I'm going to stay forever. And I want to actually move into to this wonderful world of entrepreneurship. So how those were two separate occurrences, me knowing I that I was not going to yeah. do this forever. <laughs> and then me knowing that business was the thing I yeah. wanted to do were two separate times. So it was right around important. third it's year. It's important to know that it's, a, it's right. a journey. Like you didn't have, it wasn't quite as uh, as fluid as when you decided you were going to law school. <laughs> Right. It, law school, I think, let's just chalk that up to me being a 21 year old who just saw every, you know, yeah, I, I was just moving. Yeah. I was just mm-hmm. thinking things were a good idea and just making moves. <laughs> um, and, you know, to some degree, you still do that in business, but uh, this was more like a revelation that mm-hmm. happened around my third year where I was kind of looking around at all the people older than me because mm-hmm. I had just become a mid-level associate. You're mm-hmm. a junior associate your first two years and you're a mid-level. So I just become a mid-level associate, got my own windowless office. And I was looking around at all the people older than me who were still working crazy hours, all the partners who were still working crazy hours and staying yeah. overnight. And it, it was, it didn't look like it was all that it, had been cracked up to me. Mm-hmm. Like people were telling me it was so great to be a law partner. But I was looking around going, why are you still here at 8 30 p.m.? Yeah, right. And then I heard somebody's secretary had to send their kid a birthday gift. And I was like, mm. this is not seeming like what I want to do forever. Like this doesn't seem like it gets any better. Like yeah. it doesn't get any better the more you put in your hours. Right. So that was like year three. Mm-hmm. And then I started thinking, well, what do I do instead? Do I go in house somewhere? Or do I just move to a smaller firm? Because this was, you know, this was a big firm, yeah. a very, very large international yeah. firm. And it could have very easily been a function of the type of firm I was at versus, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I've since learned that it's kind of the same everywhere, but <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't know that at the I time. Mean, it's I the industry, right? Like, You're like, maybe it's just this one, right. but it's the industry, it's really. Mm-hmm. Fun. You know, it's definitely the industry. So I was kind of thinking about my options and even I started on YouTube well before this, like while I was still in yeah. law school and I started listening to podcasts about like, influencing and mm-hmm. online business. And then I saw what you were doing and I was like, wait a second, that seems a lot more in line with what I want life to look like. And that kind of came about a year and a half later. And by that yeah. point we had already purchased the farm in North Carolina mm-hmm. and we were just, it, everything kind of lined up perfectly at, at the right time. So at the end of 2017, um, after the holidays, we decided we were going to move back. and that, that was it. I said, I'm going to give it a one good try. We're really going to do this business thing yeah, for yeah. six months. I could always get a job. I could always and that's, be a Yeah, lawyer. I mean, you do have a, a very transferable skill set here. Like, you right. know what I mean? You, you could so, always get a job. <laughs> and so then, I decided and you to say, try it. You're referring to you and your husband because you were married already yes. at the time. Yeah. Yes, we yeah. were married already. We had been married for a few years at that point. Um, and so we always meant to come back to North Carolina. So that was not a hard decision. But when we got back, I said, listen, I really was talking to some recruiters I even went mm-hmm. to an interview I was kind of like the most qualified candidate in the pool at the time mm. um and I still like wasn't getting any bites and I was like I think I'm meant to just try this and see how it goes this business thing yeah and I did and once mm-hmm. I did I was like I am never <laughs> I'm gonna be a lawyer I'm hooked. I'm hooked I love it 